Each year, there are hundreds of Bigfoot sightings across the country. Some people devote their lives to the pursuit of the creature. While there's no conclusive proof Bigfoot exists, when some new evidence pops up, you can bet we're going to check it out. Just minutes ago, explorers stumbled upon something amazing. Those are clearly footprints. They clearly look to be 15 or so inches long. I can see the toes clearly. I can see the heel clearly. I think they're beautiful evidence that what he experienced that day was real. New leaked footage shows the most creepy Bigfoot encounters. This year, an exciting video came out from the deep woods in the northern US, grabbing the attention of people everywhere. A camper had set up a trail camera to watch his faraway campsite. At first, the camera only showed normal animals like deer walking by. What could make such a huge creature act so aggressively? Is it protecting a secret spot, or is there a scarier reason? As we dive deeper into this mystery, it's getting hard to tell what's real and what's made up, and what we find next could totally change what you think you know. A close encounter with a supposed Bigfoot the camera had caught something strange, something that shocked the camper and sparked curiosity across the world. The video showed a huge, shadowy figure that looked a lot like a Sasquatch. In the footage, the creature was seen throwing a large tree branch at the camper's tent. Upon closer look, the figure was covered in thick, dark fur, had massive shoulders, and a large head that would make any human look small. As the figure retreated into the dense fog, the trembling camper realized his phone, with the only evidence of the encounter, was missing. Swiped from his tent in a daring, silent exchange, the creature appeared to be around eight to nine feet tall, which was enormous compared to the typical four or five foot tall tent used by most campers. The clip didn't last long, possibly because the camera ran out of storage or its motion sensor shut off too soon. But even though it was brief, the footage was captivating. People began to speculate about why the creature acted so aggressively. Some thought that the camper may have accidentally set up camp in the creature's territory, which many believed was a Bigfoot. There are a small number of credible reports of rather large Sasquatches being up in trees or having been seen jumping down from trees. After the encounter, the camper moved his campsite even deeper into the woods, hoping to avoid another run-in with the mysterious being. But this wasn't the only strange encounter. Another story told by a solo hiker added even more mystery to the forest. While walking through a dense wilderness filled with towering pine trees that nearly blocked out the sky, the hiker heard a loud rustling noise. At first, he thought it was just a large animal. But when he took out his phone to record, he saw something far more unsettling. A massive two-legged figure appeared. Some were quick to say it was the same creature, but this figure didn't look quite like the usual descriptions. It had arms so long they almost touched the ground, a thinner body, and a hunched-over posture. The hiker guessed the creature was at least 10 feet tall. This strange sighting fueled even more theories and debates about the presence of such creatures in these remote forests. In the cold forests of west-central Alberta, Canada, a camera set up to study wolverines accidentally captured something unexpected on January 17, 2024. The camera was first triggered by a deer peeking out from behind a tree before it disappeared back into the thick forest. But what caught everyone's attention wasn't the deer. It was what stood on the other side of the tree. At first, the figure didn't move and blended perfectly with the dark forest. But when the deer left, the figure stepped forward, showing its massive size. The creature appeared tall and strong, covered in what looked like thick, dark fur. When compared to the deer, which was about three and a half feet tall, this figure was much larger. Even though it was standing on ground lower than the deer, it still looked almost twice as tall, even while crouching. This means the creature could be around seven to eight feet tall, a sight that grabbed people's attention and fueled wild guesses. But that's not the only strange thing that surfaced. A man named Hunter Peter shared footage of what he claimed was the body of the creature. According to him, the body was kept in a freezer, and it had large hands and male features. Its dark brown fur matched the typical description of the creature, and its huge body had a decaying, blood-streaked head with closed eyes and jagged teeth. This was a shocking sight, looking incredibly real. 
But whether it's an actual body or just a clever trick is still up for debate. In the middle of a quiet and isolated farm, something terrifying happened one spooky evening. A strange scene was caught on camera. Two glowing red eyes peered from the shadows of the yard, staring straight into the house. The darkness made it impossible to tell what it was, but those eyes didn't seem to belong to any regular animal. Maybe not even to anything from this world, because no known creature has eyes like that. And the video is a bit of a wash. We just can't see the figure clearly enough. Our best guess? Man in a suit. But we can't completely say it's not the Bigfoot Doug said it was. People started guessing, and some thought it might be a cryptid, a mysterious creature that lives hidden from humans. Even though the video hinted it could be the creature, no one was sure what it really was. Then, more footage showed up from a trail camera near Close River, right on the border between Oregon and California. The camera, placed up high, captured a huge figure covered in thick wild fur standing in the dark. Its face looked somewhat like a primate, but definitely not a regular monkey. It had big, strong limbs that made it hard to believe it was just someone in a costume. This shocking footage left both viewers and experts scratching their heads. Could this really be the famous creature caught on camera more clearly than ever before? The video didn't have any clear answers, but it stirred up feelings of fear and excitement. Around the same time, in Anaheim Hills, California, another strange sighting was caught on a dashboard camera. It showed a dark, hairy figure that looked like an ape but stood upright like a human, which is unusual for animals like gorillas and apes. This strange posture made many wonder if this could also be a Sasquatch, the legendary creature from North American folklore. Even though there have been countless sightings, it has never been officially recognized and remains a mysterious figure hidden in the wild forests of the United States. But this wasn't the most shocking part. The sightings kept piling up, and each one left people more confused and curious than before. Could these creatures really be out there, just beyond our reach? As the forest continued to hold its secrets, more tales emerged, suggesting that the mysteries of the wilderness were far from over. Analyzing fresh Bigfoot sightings, despite all the photos, videos, and stories from people claiming to have seen Bigfoot, the creature still manages to fascinate us with its ability to stay hidden. It's strange to think why such a creature would show up in a quiet Californian town. This sighting raises a big question. Is it just a trick or could it actually be real? On January 3rd, 2024, a man was walking in the forest and stopped to admire the beautiful view. He was looking at a meadow surrounded by thick trees and decided to take a picture. It wasn't until later, when he zoomed in on the photo, that he noticed something odd. In the background near the trees stood a large shadowy figure covered in thick black fur watching him. At first, some people thought it might be a primate, but its size and upright posture didn't fit the description of any known monkey or ape. This figure was about 10 feet tall, way taller than any person could be. Who could pull off such a disguise at that height? Its lifelike appearance led many to believe this could actually be a real Bigfoot. This creature, hiding in the trees, seemed to have been captured by accident in the photograph. Now the question is, could this be the first real sighting of the creature in 2024? But that wasn't the only sighting. On August 5th, 2024, a new video known as the Jabez Cascade Bigfoot surfaced. The video shows a large, dark figure moving clumsily in the distance, clearly trying to stay hidden but disturbed by the person filming. Its strange walk didn't resemble anything a human could do, making people even more curious. The figure was estimated to be about seven feet tall, but with no other details about the video, people are left wondering. These events, full of mystery, keep the debate alive. Could these be the final pieces of evidence that prove the existence of the creature? But this isn't the end of the story. More questions continue to arise about this mysterious creature living among us. Yeah, I went back down, back down to the beach chair and sat down in the same, under the same tree. And not long after that again, I felt the same thing again. This time I was by myself. This video, recently found in old archives and shared online, has left many people confused and amazed. The strange event took place in Laia, a small country in northeastern Europe. A man walking through a forest there was shocked when he saw a creature that looked like it. 
covered in thick fur and walking on two legs, the creature quickly ran away when it noticed it was being filmed. It sprinted across a quiet highway, which seemed to be a rarely used or forgotten road in a remote area. The person who captured this strange moment didn't know what he had just seen. Those who watched the video later pointed out that the creature didn't move like a human. It squatted down, looked at the camera, and then ran away with a strange, swinging motion in its arms and shoulders that didn't look quite human. Fans of cryptozoology, the study of mysterious creatures, quickly suggested it could be the creature, possibly a young one because it wasn't very big. Others thought it might be a different, unknown species native to Laia. But this wasn't the only strange sighting. In June of 2023, a mother and her daughter were enjoying a calm walk along a forest trail they knew well. They had walked there many times before without any issues. But on this day, their peaceful walk was interrupted when they saw a large, mysterious creature hiding in the bushes just off the trail. The creature was huge and covered in fur, and it ran away as soon as it realized it had been seen. The sighting left the mother shaken, and she quickly called her daughter to come closer to her. Despite her fear, she managed to capture a clear video of the creature, zooming in to show its thick, furry body. A video showing a strange creature covered in thick, dark fur, except for its face and hands, has sparked a lot of debate. Its frightening look has led to intense online discussions. Some people believe it's just a person in a good costume, pointing to the neatness of the fur as proof. However, others argue that the creature's size, about eight feet tall, with a broad build and wide shoulders, is not typical for a human. That's the thing that I've, I've heard too, where people have found prints and they're not extraordinarily long, but the width is, yeah, yeah. It, it's not a human footprint because human footprints are at five or six inches. People who watch my channel know that where I had my experience, Brian owned the camp. The mystery grows as people speculate about what it could be. Is it just a prop meant to stir curiosity? Or is there something deeper going on? The video leaves us with many questions and very few answers. The location of the filming is unknown, and the man in the video, who appears to be a hiker recording his walk, adds more mystery to the situation. As the hiker records his journey, he doesn't realize that a large dark figure is quietly following him from the shadows of the valley. It wasn't until he reviewed the footage later that he saw the strange figure. A closer look suggested it looked a lot like a Sasquatch, with wide shoulders and towering height, though the exact height was hard to judge from the distance. This strange sighting happened on February 21st, and the video recently appeared on social media, adding to the stories of mysterious creatures living in the forest. But this wasn't the only video. Another one shows a construction worker, busy at his job in a forest, unaware that a giant figure is watching him from the background. A trail camera caught the creature, possibly curious about the construction work, standing at least nine feet tall and watching with interest. These stories, rich with mystery, lead us into the next chapter of our search for the truth behind the legends. Bigfoot, legend, or truth? Without the trail camera, this moment would have gone unnoticed, leaving us to wonder what other mysteries the wild hides. A lot of people think that machines on construction sites act strangely, and there are quite a few records that back this up. This idea might help explain the strange events shown in a recent video. Some people say the figure in the video could just be someone in a gorilla suit or another type of costume, but the sheer size of the figure makes that explanation harder to believe. It would be fascinating to hear other people's thoughts on what or who could be behind this odd sighting. Bigfoot, often talked about like a hidden force of nature, has remained a lasting mystery living in the corners of our minds for many years. Across the vast wilderness of North America, stories have been told about a huge ape-like creature whose giant footprints and rare sightings have both intrigued and scared people for generations. This isn't just a simple legend. It's become a big part of our culture, driven by the search for real proof. The name Sasquatch comes from Saskets, a word from the First Nations people of the Pacific Northwest. It means wild man, or a giant who lives in the forest. For a long time, indigenous tribes in this area have shared stories of a mysterious being living away from human society. Unlike the scary version often shown in modern stories, the original figure was seen as a guardian of nature, 
someone to respect, not fear. But it wasn't until the late 1950s that the image we know today really took shape, mixing old myths with the power of modern media. A key moment in the story happened in 1958 when a construction crew near Bluff Creek, California, claimed they found massive human-like footprints about 16 inches long. The local Humboldt Times wrote about it and used the name for the first time. As the story spread across the country, people everywhere began reporting their own encounters. Even though it was later revealed that Ray Wallace, a man involved in the original discovery, had faked the footprints with wooden tools. There was no way it could have naturally fallen there. It wasn't all the branches fell in the same direction. They were literally placed in separate directions to actually provide cover. This looks like a structure to hide under. People's fascination didn't fade, but that wasn't the most significant part. In 1967, the buzz grew even stronger with the release of the Patterson-Gimlin film. Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, while riding horses in Northern California, claimed to have captured footage of a large two-legged creature walking along a creek. The blurry video showing what seems to be a big furry figure remains one of the most argued pieces of evidence for the creature's existence. Some skeptics say it's just a person in a costume, but others, including experts, believe the creature's body structure is too complicated to be faked. Even after more than 50 years, the film is still hotly debated by believers and doubters alike. Yet it is more than just strange footprints and shaky videos. Over the years, sightings have been reported all across North America, from the dense forests of the Pacific Northwest to the rugged mountains of the Appalachians. People who claim to have seen it describe a giant creature covered in dark fur, standing between seven and 10 feet tall with glowing eyes that seem to watch from the shadows. Many witnesses say they felt an eerie presence, as if something powerful and mysterious was watching them. But this wasn't the most puzzling part. Even with all these sightings, strong physical proof remains hard to find. Critics argue that the lack of hard evidence, like bones or clear photos, proves it is just a myth kept alive by hoaxes and excitement. Some suggest that if it does exist, it might bury its dead, which would explain why no remains have been discovered. Others think it could be a surviving member of Gigantopithecus, a giant ape that lived thousands of years ago. Without solid proof, these ideas are just guesses adding to the mystery. It has left a big mark on popular culture, inspiring movies like Harry and the Hendersons, and many TV shows that explore the creature's existence. Groups of enthusiasts have formed with people dedicating their lives to searching for this elusive creature. Some head into the wild with cameras and night vision equipment, hoping to capture the next big piece of evidence. Others spend hours studying videos and photos, looking for any detail that might prove it is real. We had no idea what we were looking at, but went through all the different possibilities of the animals that are here, and nothing matched that size. Still, the legend goes beyond just curiosity. It connects with something deep inside us, the excitement of the unknown, of places that humans haven't fully explored yet. It represents the untamed wild, reminding us that not all of Earth's secrets have been uncovered by science. For some people, believing in it is like holding on to the wonder of the unknown in a world that seems increasingly figured out. But here's the thing. Even if it isn't real, the story still matters. It speaks to a basic human desire to believe in something bigger than ourselves, blurring the lines between myth and reality, truth and imagination. As long as there are vast forests and dark, uncharted places on Earth, people will continue searching for it. Whether or not it exists, it's the legend that gives us something to wonder about. What do you think about these mysterious sightings? Are they genuine encounters with unknown creatures or clever hoaxes designed to capture our imagination? Share your thoughts, hit like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing content.